Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 171 and we're going to be going over a few module development tips to help you easily debug variables in when you're in when you're building your Drupal modules and when you're working with PHP. As always, I'm Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also make sure to check out codecrowdy.com take a look at the ebook and look at all the other videos and posts on the website. If you have been developing Drupal modules for a while or just getting started you may have heard of the Devel module. This is a very helpful module to easily help you develop Drupal modules and debug code as you are working through building your Drupal modules. But today we're going to look at how the search crumo module adds on to the develop module and makes it just a little bit better. The first thing we're going to do is take a look at our Drupal website. We have a simple Drupal 7 website and for this example we're just going to assume we want to take a look at this little search form here. We just want to look at the form array that builds this search form and we want to use the search crumo module and see how that can help us do that. The first thing is to look at the modules we have installed. I have the Devel module turned on right now. I do not have the Search Crumo module on yet. We'll be turning that on here shortly. I also have a simple example module. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is in that example module. Just a really simple info file and the module file has a hook form alter function and I have some code that checks to see if it's the search block form because we only want to look at that specific form so typically the way I've done it in the past and I still do it sometimes to this day is I use a print statement something like this so I may print out the form variable if I click save and I come back to our Drupal site here. If I refresh, I'm going to see the output. As you can see, I get output saying it's an array. There's a search block form element. It's a text field. I can go through and I can see all of the information. This is kind of nice sometimes because you can see it laid out and structured. However, it very quickly becomes a little unmaintainable or unmanageable when it gets to be very long. There's a lot of forms or variables you will debug in Drupal that are extremely long and just not practical to use a print statement like that. With Devel, you can use a DPM function, which is a simple print function that prints out a nice, easy to click through option. So if we use the DPM function instead of just a simple print function, you'll notice in the status area of your Drupal site there is the variable printed out you can click through so I can see there's a search block form I can even see the default value here You can click through and see all of the different uh, basically all the different options and settings for that specific array that we're taking a look at so that's another option that comes with the devel module Searching through this can still become a problem when it gets to be very long, and that is where the search crumo module comes in. So let's go ahead and turn that module on. And click save. And keep in mind with my code, I still just have this dpm function here, and I'm printing out the form variable. Now if I come back here and I refresh, can see there's a search box here everything else looks the same you can see I have this little get path option let's go ahead and search for default value if I search you can see it highlights everywhere it finds default value you don't have to search just uh, the index of the array you can actually search for values within the array so I can search for for instance terms here and then you have the terms one highlighted so as you can see that works out really well and makes it very easy 
you can notice if I hover over a get path it's going to allow me to copy this variable if I wanted to change the default value I just click the get path I can copy that paste it in my code let's say I want to set the default value to search I do need to change this var to form because that's the name of my variable I will comment this out for a second now if we come back here the default value is now search there's also another function that is added when you use the search crumo module and it's the sdpm function it's almost the exact same thing there's only a very small difference so you can use that you can still search for say the default value it'll open it up and show you now if you click get path you'll notice it replaces the variable name with the correct variable name so now I copy this over I can paste that in and I can say I want this to be search with an exclamation point this time instead of just search I'll comment that out and refresh forgot a semicolon here so add that semicolon and refresh and now you have search with an exclamation point as the default value for that form or that text field so that's really all there is to it the search crumo modules are really simple but extremely handy module if you're developing themes or modules with Drupal anytime you're working with PHP variables on a Drupal site the search crumo module is incredibly handy so go ahead and try it out. Let me know what you think. If you have ideas for future videos, let me know. Make sure to check out CodeKarate.com, and we will see you next time.